Hey guys, welcome back to my month three update of having immediate dentures. Before I start this video, I want to thank you all for subscribing. I started this channel uh, a long time ago. I made a couple small videos, nothing too crazy. But when I started my denture journey, I had like 35 subscribers. Well, now I it just passed over 200, which is insane. That. 200 people subscribed to me i appreciate you watching i have got a lot of views on my videos one video is like four thousand views i have a couple over a thousand or two so it's really it's really nice to see that a lot of people are watching my video and liking it i get a lot of comments saying thanks so much for the help or my teeth look amazing and i love that i mean that's why i made this video i mean not for my own self pity but for helping you guys and to show you that anybody at any age can go through this process. It's a struggle. I tell you my story of what I'm dealing with and what you can run into. And I may throw in a, a few tips or hints of what you could expect and what to help you along with your journey. But I've been helping out a lot of people, answering whatever questions I can. If you do have them, leave them below. But I do appreciate everyone watching and subscribing. Uh, thanks. So if you haven't followed my journey, in early January 2021, I had 24 teeth extracted with no sedation and had immediate dentures put in. My recovery the first month was a struggle. My lower dentures would not go back in after day three. Uh, due to increased swelling and multiple bone, bone spurs. Once the swelling went down, I then found out that I had spots on the inside of both of my gums and the lower part that had exposed bone. And that was one of the main reasons why my dentures would not go in. So I had to ha go in and have surgery. They basically had to cut the gums open, grind it down, and then sew it back up and told I had 18 stitches that was done uh, on week two and that was a very difficult struggle. Finally, after a month, I got my lower dentures put in, had my first soft reline and we are off to the races then. So at that first month, was the struggle the second month it was a learning curve finally having both my upper and lower dentures in and learning to talk with both of them in, and also eating my upper gums were fairly healed so it wasn't too bad but because of the surgery my lower gums basically were set back and had a lot of pain so slowly started eating regular food my last update was two months with dentures since then, I've dealt with a lot of loose denture issues. So my upper dentures were so loose. And I'll actually put in a clip right now, uh, basically of my gums were so shrunk that my dentures were so loose in there. And so you can see with that clip that my dentures had so much space, I had to use some fixing it ultra hold max on my gum line. And then I would put Seabon wafers on top of that. And then I would put more fixing it on top of that. And that had to fill in the gap. And luckily that held great. The fixing it ultra hold max is amazing. The c bottom wafers aren't bad, but I use those to fill in the gaps and helps keep the adhesive from sticking to your gums, but it holds amazing. So that was what I was dealing with for a month. For my lower denture, I didn't have a whole lot of shrinking. I had some, but not a whole lot. So it was still just the flowing denture and fighting to keep that in place. And so what I do with my lower denture is I would put some fixing it ultra hole max paste on the denture use a q-tip to smear all over there on a thin layer and then sprinkle some of the fixing it extra hold powder on there and that holds great it will last me until about dinner time 
dinner time comes around and it starts to loosen up. So what I've been doing, and I mentioned it before, is taking my denture out, cleaning it, reapplying uh, the adhesive to get it through my meals. But I've been eating pretty normal. Uh, there's some things that I just stay away from. I haven't tried corn the cob. I don't know if or when I'll try that again, but I've eaten steak, just you have to take small bites. One thing with the fixing it Ultra Hold Max Pace is getting it off your gums. Run warm water through there, uh, try to grip it if you can and pull it out. You have to be careful. So one thing I had happen is I had some of the paste stuck on the inside of my gums here at the bottom and it was not coming out and I couldn't grab it enough to pull it out. So I figured I'd grab my tweezers and the tweezers pulled it out. But the problem was it wasn't ready to come off my gums yet. So when I pulled it, it pulled a chunk of skin off of my gums with it and it started bleeding pretty good. So you have to be careful when you use that paste, which it's amazing, I highly recommend it. You have to make sure you run warm, hot water through your mouth to loosen it up. Don't force it. If you can't get it out, just work with it more. It will come out. You have to be very careful. So today was my second soft realign. I went to my dentist this morning at 8.30 and got my second soft reline. So as you saw in the video, my dentures were super loose. So I went and got that soft reline. They fit amazing. Um, the lower ones still float. What can you do until I get my permanents? They're still kind of a struggle. But my upper ones, they actually suction now again, which is amazing. You want that suction, that's what holds it up. But being that I still make sure that my teeth are gonna stay in place. I still added some fix it in powder to hold everything there. So that way I don't have to worry about my denture popping out while I'm talking or eating, but the fit is much better. So my dentist scheduled me for my next soft reading line, my final soft reading line on June 1st. Then eight weeks after that, so in August, I will finally get my hard reading line done. And my dentist, they use these teeth here, which I'm happy with, to make my new final permanent dentures. So they will basically make a new mold of my bite at that time, and then take these teeth and put them in the new mold or whatever, however they do it. But until then, I got my soft reline. My teeth are fitting much better. So no more wiggle or wobble to the denture. It's a nice snug fit. It's holding amazing. And I'm really happy that I had it done. And of course the soft ring line taste is a kind of annoying. It's a weird chemically taste. So I got my mints, nice strong flavor to keep uh, the flavor out of my mouth because it, it can be a little overwhelming at times, but it does go away after a day or so. So watching back my video, it's amazing how much better I sound. I'll put in a clip here from my extraction day and me trying to talk with my swollen mouth and brand new dentures. Talking was horrible, but it's crazy how much better I've learned to talk over these past three months. And my talking, I think, is back to 100% normal pretty much. A little bit of slur every once in a while but I think it's pretty damn good right now. Really happy overall and I'm so glad with everything that I did. I have my alarm set to wake up every four hours to take my payment lesson. I saw other people say if they didn't wake up to take it it was pretty miserable. But that's all for this video. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Um, think about doing either a Q&A video of questions people's asked me or possibly doing a morning and evening denture routine. Uh, so what do you think? Do you guys think I should do one or the other or both? Uh, leave them in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Have a good day.